What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm doing my top 10 potential 2022 Royal Rumble surprise entrance. Now this is both for the men's and for the women's Royal Rumble. We got five from the men's five from the women's people that I think could potentially be surprise entrants this year in the Royal Rumble. Without further ado, let's get right in to number 10. Coming in at my number 10 spot, we have the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Now, Adam Scher hasn't actually done too much since leaving WWE, uh, wrestling related anyway. I believe Braun got released in July 2021. Since then, I believe he was on Ring of Honor's final show and he has recently been booked with EC3 to work a show in, I think, Dubai. Uh, but other than that, he hasn't really done anything and I've seen a lot of rumours and reports that say, Maybe he's just waiting for WWE to call. Uh, and if that's if that's true, he'll go straight back to them. So he could be a shocking surprise entry this year in the Royal Rumble. You never know. Uh, I think we could see it. But he is number 10 because I do think it's quite unlikely. But anything can happen in the WWE, as you will find out as this list goes on. My number nine spot is Raquel Gonzalez. Now, Gonzalez lost the NXT Women's Championship to Mandy Rose at Halloween Havoc last year. And since then, well, I don't really watch NXT 2.0, but I can't say that she's done anything seriously of significance, I don't think. Uh, so with that being said, what she has done is reportedly she has worked a couple dark matches before SmackDown events, which is normally a telltale sign that WWE are looking to bring you up to the main roster. Um, and she has also said in interviews that she is hopeful to maybe declare for the Royal Rumble. So I think that Raquel Gonzalez could be a NXT surprise entrant for the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble. Number eight is the recently cleared Corey Graves. Now, I think it will be a massive missed opportunity if WWE don't capitalise on Corey Graves being cleared and actually put him in the Royal Rumble. You can have him be on commentary, same as what they did in like uh, 2012, I believe it was, and then 2014 with JBL. Uh, have the commentator sit at the commentary desk and then, you know, bang, Corey Graves' music hits. Not many people are going to know whose music it is if they haven't really seen anything of Corey Graves before. And then, obviously, Graves can get up, take off his suit, he's in his ring gear, run in the ring, and then have a, have a nice little stint in the Rumble. He only needs to be in there five to ten minutes, I guess, just to show that he's back, you know. Shake off a bit of ring rust in the Royal Rumble match. I think it would be awesome to see Corey Graves return in the Rumble. My number seven spot is the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Now, she has been gone for a little while. Uh, I can't even remember the last time we saw her. It was last year at some point. But she has also been medically cleared to return to the ring for months. And they just haven't brought her back. So why not do it at the Royal Rumble? I don't really have too much else to say on the matter. But I think 100% you can count on Asuka being in the Rumble. Coming in at number six, we have the former 16-time world champion, John Cena. Now, Cena, I don't even know if he's going to be at WrestleMania. I think he said in an interview that he might be busy, but he might not. I don't know. I don't really keep up to date with John Cena's schedule these days just because he is so busy all of the time. But think of the pop if John Cena returns in the Royal Rumble. You know, he doesn't have to win the thing. He can literally come back for one night, be in the Royal Rumble, throw some people over the top, and then go. This list is mainly people that I think could realistically return, and I think John Cena is on that list. So would you like to see it? I definitely would. John Cena in the Royal Rumble. My number five spot is... Bailey. Now, Bailey tore her ACL the week before fans came back. So, unfortunately, Bailey has not wrestled in front of crowds for like two years. Can you imagine that? She hasn't wrestled in front of the crowd for like two years, which is insane. So, imagine the pop that Bailey would get when she returns in the Royal Rumble, if she returns in the Royal Rumble. But please, I hope it happens. Bailey deserves it. Uh, she has earned that pop. You know, she did some of her best work as SmackDown Women's Champion throughout the pandemic. So bring her back in the Royal Rumble. I hope they keep the heel gimmick. I don't think she'll return to the babyface hugger gimmick. Uh, but nevertheless, I do want to see Bailey return. 
coming in at number four, we have X Pack. Now, Sean Waltman was recently cleared by WWE to return to in-ring competition. He confirmed this himself on an episode of WWE's The Bump. Now, does this mean that X-Pac will be in the Royal Rumble? 100% surely it does. Hopefully we see it. I would like to see it. You know, we get that legend nostalgia pop, the DX pop. It would be cool to see. You can have him Bronco bust to some people and then uh, get eliminated. Uh, shortly afterwards, but it'll be cool to see X-Pac return and uh, I think the crowd would eat it up So hopefully we see X-Pac in the rumble My number three pick to return in the Royal Rumble is Lacey Evans now in February last year Lacey Evans announced that she was pregnant on an episode of Raw and since then she has given birth and she is also back in incredible shape if you look at her now if you look on her Instagram page you would have no idea that she has given birth it's crazy I don't know how she's managed it but pure hard work has gone into trying to get that physique back and hopefully that means that an in-ring return is imminent so could we see Lacey Evans return in the Royal Rumble I think 100% we will see Lacey Evans in the Women's Royal Rumble. I don't think she will win, but I do think uh, she will enter, hopefully, you know, maybe even early on in the Rumble, maybe even one or two, get that quick pop. Uh, I know WWE don't do it often, but a surprise return from the offset is always something that's shocking and always something I'd like to see. So Lacey Evans, hopefully we'll see you in the Rumble. And my final surprise entrance for the men, overall coming in at number two, we have the whole effing show, Rob Van Dam. The 2021 WWE Hall of Famer, I think, is very likely to return in the 2022 WWE Royal Rumble. Now, RVD hasn't actually wrestled for WWE since August 2014, where he wrestled Seth Rollins on main event. However, he, the last time he actually wrestled was in September 2021. I think he teamed up with Bully Ray in an independent match. So we could see it. I know RVD has said in the past he may have a rocky history of uh, actually getting medically cleared by WWE's team. But for one night, put him in the Royal Rumble. I think it would be awesome. And the crowd would love it. The first bar of RVD's theme song and everyone pops. He is really one of a kind. So there you go. I think RVD is my main pick to return this year in the Royal Rumble. I'd love to see it. I've not seen too many people talking about it, but I think it would be awesome. So without further ado, let's get into my overall number one. It's a big one. And finally, my final number one surprise entry pick is Paige. Now, Paige had to retire from WWE in 2018 due to neck-related issues. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like she'll be back in a ring. But we said that about Edge. We said that about Christian. We said that about Corey Graves. So does this mean that Paige could be in the Royal Rumble match? Has she been medically cleared by the WWE? I don't know. You know, she, she teases it every now and then about coming back, but we never really know if there's any depth or any substance to the teasing. But there could be. There could be. And this time, I hope there is. You know, Paige, one of my favourite women's wrestlers. She was the one that really kick-started the women's revolution. And uh, I'd love to see her mix it up with some new top names in the women's division. I mean, Paige versus Bianca Belair. Give me it. It is money. So, you know, I, I hope she is but she is my number one surprise entry pick. But there you go. Let me know your surprise entry predictions in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this video. I've been Joe from Joe Thoughts Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. And uh, if you guys like this video, I may do a separate surprise entry video completely based on potential forbidden door entries. But let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see that video. Once again, I've been Joe from Joe Thoughts Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Burn!